West Indies coach Phil Simmons says his team is disappointed with the result against England in their opening match of the T20 World Cup. He says his players are looking ahead to the game against South Africa on Tuesday with the goal of bringing pride back to West Indies cricket. Kent Fuentes has more. The World Cup winning coach says his team's defeat to England in their opening match of their title defence was down to one thing. Poor shot selection by his batsmen. For me, yesterday was just about bad shot selection. Um, the, 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 the bowling wasn't, as, as we would say, um, extraordinary. Um, all the guys have played against these guys before, so I just put it down to bad shot selection yesterday. Um, we need to improve that um, tenfold by the time we get to Tuesday. He says the team does not need to change the style of play it has become known for, but needs to read the situation on the day it faces a lot better. Adding his players are looking forward to getting back to winning ways and putting the opening defeat against England behind them. I think everyone's looking forward to the next game because when you, when you have a game like that, um, especially the opening game in the, in the World Cup. Everybody's looking forward to, to the next game and wishing that the next game was tomorrow, you know, instead of two days away. But everyone's looking forward to the next game, and not just because it's South Africa, but it's the next game to make amends for what happened yesterday. Coach Simmons, though, was pleased that his bowlers went out and gave a good account of themselves despite knowing they were defending a small total. I think you had to be extremely impressed with, with, with the way we went out on the field having to defend 56 runs. And as you say, Akil put up his hand and, and he was always going to open the ball in, but he put up his hand and, and, and bowl. Um, extraordinary catch. Um, and, and all the bowlers came up for it that they needed to bowl well, even though it was only 56 runs. And, that was happening to, to take away from yesterday. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports. Sri Lanka produced a stunning run chase to beat Bangladesh by five wickets in their first men's T20 World Cup Super 12s match. Chasing 172, Sri Lanka slipped to 79 for four before, before Charis Asalanka's unbeaten 80 and Banuka Rajapaksa's aggressive 53 from 31 balls put them on top. Their 86-run stand helped Sri Lanka secure victory in front of a lively crowd. Bangladesh had earlier posted 171 for four from their 20 overs. Meanwhile, Pakistan hammered India by 10 wickets to claim a famous win over their great rivals at the Men's T20 World Cup in Dubai. Chasing 152, Mohammad Rizwan made an unbeaten 78 and Captain Baba Azam 68 not out as Pakistan registered their first win over India at a World Cup. The Cricket West Indies selection panel announced the squads for the upcoming Best vs. Best men's Red Bull batches. The panel named 24 players for two three-day fixtures, which will be played at the Coolidge Cricket Ground on October 27th to 29th and November 1st to 3rd. The two teams will be led by Craig Brathwaite and Jermaine Blackwood. The players will use these matches as preparations ahead of West Indies' forthcoming tour to Sri Lanka for two test matches following the ICC T20 World Cup. Squad A includes Craig Brathwaite, Sharma, Ro Sharma Brooks, Rakim Cornwall, Joshua De Silva, Shannon Gabriel, Shai Hope, Kyle Myers, Vera Sami, Jaden Seals, Preston McSween, Niall Smith, and Jeremy Solzano. While Squad B includes Jermaine Blackwood, Nkroma Bonner, Jarma Hamilton, Chema Holder, Kevin Hodge, Alzari Joseph, Imran Khan, Shane Mosley, Kieran Powell, Rayan, Raymond Reefer, Kemar Roach, and Jamel Warrigan.